All right, guys, so we're going to get three brand new events in Precise coming out throughout the week. And I want to show you guys exactly how much Chrono Crystals we can grab this week in total. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys right away. I am very, very impressed. Um, I'm actually baffled that Dragon Ball Legends is coming out with a brand new event called Raging Battle. Now, these events actually give out over a thousand crystals, which is really, really cool. And it's not time gated from what it looks like. So this is great, guys. I mean, we can grab a lot of Chrono Crystals. I'm going to show you guys the best way, the most efficient way, where to get them, how to get them. And all these events is going to come out throughout the week as well. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So let's not waste any time, guys. Let's jump into the video. So I'm going to cover absolutely everything from A through Z. Starting off with the brand new login bonus, we're going to get a brand new login bonus, which we can actually grab. Surprisingly speaking, the login bonus usually dishes out like anywhere from 0, 50, or 100. But they were fancy this time and decided to give out 200. So uh, let's book in 200. And the reason why they're actually coming out with more crystals is because of ultra hit. If they're going to keep bringing out ultra summonable units as quickly as they have been, like monthly from what it looks like, right? then they're going to need to dish out a lot more crystals for us free-to-play players. Now, we're at 200. We're going to keep on going here, guys. Um, if you guys log in on your daily logins, obviously, you guys can choose up to 10 Chrono Crystals um, in your daily login. And we're going to calculate this by a week. So uh, let's book in 70, which is 10 times 7, which is 70. Very simple stuff. So uh, let's book in 70. Next up, we also do have the weekend login bonus. If you guys log in uh, during the last day of the weekend, uh, then you guys can get an extra 100 crystals. So let's book that in right there. Okay, looking quite good. Now getting into the event that's going to come out tonight, which is the brand new free-to-play Kefla event. Now, this event, um, it's you guys might think we can actually grab some crystals off of this, but to be honest, we cannot. Uh, we can only grab about less than 100 I'm going to just round it up to 100. It's actually 90. As a matter of fact, let's just put 90 because that's exactly how much the last free-to-play Broly uh, event gave us. So that's going to be 90, uh, which is not a lot, unfortunately, but we're going to get a free-to-play character out of this. So, I mean, yeah. So we are at 460 crystals. Next up, we're also going to get another event, which is going to be the, um, the co-op event, which comes out tonight. And uh, that could dish out um, at least 606 crystals, guys. Um... 300 from the shop, 600 from all the pretty much first time rewards and all the crystals on the side. So that is 606 crystals. Okay. <laughs> all right. So not looking too fancy because we crossed a thousand, but um, we, we can actually grab a lot now because um, we we also have uh, the Legends Battle Royale. So the Legends Battle Royale, it's funny. I'm laughing because my dog is right next to me right here. <laughs> so he's kind of growling. Uh, it's just funny. Uh, but yeah, here, you know, for this uh, new Battle Royale, which is Rivals, we can actually grab 300 only off the shop, which is better than nothing. But um, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a guide for this later as well. So let's book in 300 on top of what we had before. All right, guys, so we're at 1,366. Next up, we also do have the brand new uh, Terminator Power Season that just came out, um, which um, or that's going to come out tonight. Excuse me. Um, and that we can grab 1,500 uh, to its max potential from the last stage, from the uh, from the missions, as well as from ranking top 10,000. So uh, we are at 2,866 crystals, looking pretty solid. Uh, but we're going to keep on pushing here, guys. Also, we do have, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so we do have the missions plans, which is actually going to reset this week. Now, missions plans... Obviously, it, it could vary depending on if you guys play and which missions uh, plans you guys can pick. So it could go all the way up to 1,500, but I'm going to just go for the free-to-play players here, and I'm going to just book in 500 crystals. And on top of that, we can actually get an extra uh, 500 from the daily stamps because we can collect 1,000, and I did uh, divide this weekly. So let's just count in 500. So 500 plus 500 equals 1,000. So the daily stamps plus the missions plans is 1,000. So let's book in 1,000 crystals. All right, guys, we're at 3,866, and I'm definitely missing something here. So um, let me just double check. Uh, the Raging Battle, did we calculate the Raging Battle? We did not. So the Raging Battle um, here, I think we can collect 1,105 to be precise. So um, I'm not sure if I calculated it. I can actually see if I calculated it. Let's see. Let's scroll down here uh, really quick. Um, it should have been calculated, right? So 1,000, nope, I haven't, I didn't calculate it. Okay, so 
Let's calculate a thousand one hundred and five to be precise from all the first time, uh, you know, the crystals on the side, the challenges and stuff like that. So we're at 4,971 from the Raging Battle. Um, next up, we also do have Adventures that are going to come out tonight, which is nothing too crazy. It's only uh, 50 crystals. So let's book in 50 crystals. And we are at a grand total of uh, 5,021 crystals. Now, this is very, very significant. Uh, but they will have to dish out a little bit more if they're planning on releasing relentless banners like this, especially monthly back-to-back -back ultra banners, guys. We just got ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, right? As a matter of fact, you could even date this back all the way up to Beast Gohan. We got Beast Gohan. Uh, then the Legends Festival started with Tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. Then Father Son Gala Gun. And then uh, Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Then 17. And now, boom, we're going to get a... Um, Actually, we're going to get another LF in two weeks for Valentine's Day too. So, yeah, a lot of banners coming out and very little crystals to be dished. I still think that, and it pisses me off saying this every single time, and majority of you guys, will actually all of you guys should agree with me here, that full power battle is the most useless mode ever, ever, ever. Like, I get pissed off talking about that, you know? Um, they should definitely dish out at least 500 Chrono Crystals per stage, normal, um, you know, hard and screen mode because what's what's it good for? What's it good for besides dishing out what 30 erasers? It's absolutely ridiculous and a waste of time and in a waste of space in the game if it's not going to dish out crystals or anything important. And if you guys might be saying DBZ Home dishes out the free to play characters, well, the new co op so does that as well. So, uh, I mean, it's we, we could just get it off the co op. So, it's useless. The full power battle is useless. They're just being very stingy with their crystals. 1,500 is nothing. It's a multi and a half that will probably get shafted on. So yeah, I mean, honestly, that's um, that's something that I hope, hope they fix uh, down the line. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. 5,021 crystals is very significant. Um, I have not summoned on hit just yet. I will be summoning on him right now um, after I record this video. I have how many crystals? 23,000 crystals. I feel I spent 20,000 crystals for one copy of 17. So hopefully I don't get shafted. It is an ultra banner and the fillers are not that good. I'll tell you that right now. We got what? UI Goku. Uh, we got Corrupt Samasu in the banner. Uh, Super Simple Evolution Vegeta. Rose is the only good LF, but all these also drop at only 600 Z power um, besides the ultra at 2000. So um, yeah, hopefully I don't get shafted. And by the way, if you guys did summon on this, uh, comment down below. Did you guys get shafted? Did you guys get lucky? I'm very excited, um, uh, for this hit here. He looks quite good. He looks fun, to be honest. And I do hope they continue these mechanics, uh, this more unique mechanics, uh, to characters like these ultra characters, right? Which deserves more unique mechanics. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again in a little bit. Have a good one. Peace.